Hey guys, Blazing here, and what I'm about to talk about right now is actually kind of surprising. If you look on TF2's blog post, you're gonna see a giant blog that has a bunch of balance changes that they're working out for the major pyro update. What's so odd to me is that they're actually releasing these balance changes before the update even comes out. And looking through it, there is a lot of weird changes in here, and a lot of major ones too. And from what they're saying, it looks like Valve actually talked to a lot of players of TF2 and listened to the community for these changes, so hopefully they will be good. It's nice to see Valve responding to our feedback and actually addressing issues that we had with the game for a very long time now. They even addressed that it's not even a complete list of changes and they're still working on some. So this balance list is not going to be final to the one we're going to see in the Pyro update. But at least it's a preview of what we're going to expect. The first change they start off with is with the panic attack, and they even state that it's one of the least used weapons in TF2. And the way they're looking to change the panic attack is revamping the weapon completely. They want to try to make this weapon actually viable and usable, and try to give it a unique design. I'm not going to go over all of these changes, but I will go over some, because there is a lot in this list. From what I'm looking at, they changed up the Dead Ringer a little bit because now you can actually not refill your cloak with an ammo pack or a dispenser. They also nerfed the Ambassador and made some changes to the Eternal Reward. They also changed up the Rescue Ranger to where it now consumes metal, I guess? They stated that the Rescue Ranger now consumes metal at a 4 to 1 health to metal ratio. And for that example, they put repairing 60 damage costs 15 metal. I find that kind of interesting, I don't know if that's the best choice, but we'll just have to see. And again, none of these are actually final. The odd thing is though, we haven't seen anything to Pyro. But since it's the Pyro update, they're probably saving that for a surprise. Tell me what you guys think about these changes in the comments below, and you can check out the full list on their blog page, but again, it's not the full list because apparently this is just a preview. But we'll just have to see what the full list actually is when the update comes out. Thank you guys for watching the video, see you guys next time.